Hey everybody, I am David and today I'm going to be the only person right now talking about the Venom trailer that dropped early this morning uh, because everybody else is doing their non-spoiler reviews for Avengers Infinity War because unlike some of those critics, I am not lucky enough to um, do an early screening review. So let us get talking about this Venom trailer. Uh, because I was disappointed with the last trailer. The the first trailer they released earlier back in January, I think. January, February. Um, now we're in late April, almost May. May is just around the corner. And we're getting a new trailer for Venom. And I'm going to say I was very much happier than I was than the previous trailer. Now, I'm not going to say that this was my favorite trailer of the year, um, but it was a much better improvement over the last one, uh, mostly because we finally got to see Venom um, and the symbiote in action. Now, I don't know why they had to say symbiote the way, like, in the trailer they say symbiote, or something like that, uh, and they put emphasis on uh, the, the eye, uh, which I I thought was a little weird. Um, and I know a lot of people are saying the same thing. I, I've read some comments uh, from others that um, found it weird that the way they're saying symbiote, uh, symbiote. Um, but fine, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll. It didn't bug me that much, but I know others are 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 distracted by it um <laughs> i guess it's just the way they want to pronounce it in the movie just like uh ra's al ghul and Rachel ghul the movies and television shows have pronounced it both ways so uh maybe they just want to pronounce it that way now the question is is this going to be connected to the mcu so far they've said conflicting reports have have been saying yes Others have been saying no. Uh, apparently, Tom Holland was seen on set um, uh, uh, for a two-day shoot. So he might have a little cameo in it, confirming that this movie might be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I did find it interesting at the beginning when it showed the Marvel logo. It said, in association with Marvel. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they'll cut his cameo out. Maybe they'll think, eh, you know what? It's better to keep it separate. Not everything has to be connected to the MCU. If it is, it just creates a much richer universe as far as I'm concerned. I know some people out there, few people out there uh, feel otherwise, and that's fine. You're free to feel the way you feel. Um... For me, I like it when everything's connected. I, I feel a much richer, broader universe uh, and more options in terms of storytelling and where they can take things. Um, but I wouldn't be mad if, if it wasn't. Uh, I'd be okay with it. I, <laughs> we've lived with movies, superhero movies, without being connected. Uh, we can go on into the future with still having movies be on their own but we know that this is still creating its own universe even if it's not created to the, uh, connect to the mcu in any way uh because this is going to be creating the spider verse if you will uh starting with venom and then we're going to get silver and black and then uh there was supposed to be another one i forgot what it was called right now um but yes so far so good i'm, I'm really liking it i'm not too sure about the villain um i'm for Getting the actor's name, a lot of people thought he was going to be playing Carnage. It doesn't really look like it, because Carnage in the comics, um, wasn't he a, like a serial murderer? So it doesn't look like if that is Carnage, um, he, he's a businessman, so it doesn't look like he's uh, they're, they're taking that character in that route. Unless he's not playing that character and he's playing a different character entirely. If that's the case, it did. As I was watching the trailer, I was, I was thinking to myself, maybe it's better if Carnage is not in this film, anyways. Maybe it's better if they save Carnage for a sequel. Because do we want Carnage st stuffed right into the origin of Venom, or do we want to save him 
for a better movie down the line, for a sequel where they can go all out with him. I think that would be a better option. I do really like the way Tom Hardy is playing it. It looks like he is a reporter because he is uh, a reporter photographer because it looks like he is uh, doing some investigating, um, which I thought was interesting to note from the trailer. Maybe he's working for the Daily Bugle uh, because he I know he has in some variations. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I, I, I'll say I am a little bit more excited about this movie than I was when I saw the last trailer. So, so far, so good. Um, it's not my most anticipated, but it is on my radar now. Well, it was always on my radar. If it's a superhero movie, you can bet I'm going to check it out for sure. Uh, bad reviews or good reviews. Uh, depends uh but yes uh if it's marvel or dc i love it all so give it to me and uh i guess that's it guys so comment below tell me your thoughts on the trailer are you happy are you excited about it uh once again tell me what your thoughts were on the previous trailer and how does it compare to this one uh like this video subscribe to this channel and until next time take care